Welcome to this episode of the most terrifying stingray attack in history. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, was a well-known Australian wildlife expert and conservationist who was loved by his family, friends and fans globally. His unexpected and untimely passing sent shockwaves around the world, leaving many in mourning. In this episode, we'll explore the life of Steve Irwin, his passion for wildlife and his love for adventure. We'll dive deep into the events that led to his most tragic stingray attack, taking his life on September the 4th, 2006, examining how this accident has left an indelible mark on the world of wildlife conservation. But before moving ahead, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Steve Irwin's love for animals began at an early age. As the son of a wildlife expert, he grew up around crocodiles and other wild animals. His childhood was not typical, as he was given a 12-foot scrub python at the age of six and was handling crocodiles by the age of nine, even wrestling one under his father's supervision. Steve's love for wildlife grew as he became more involved with his family's Queensland Reptile and Fauna Park. He later volunteered for the East Coast Crocodile Management Program, where he captured over 100 potentially problematic crocodiles. In 1991, he took over the park, eventually renaming it the Australia Zoo in 1998. His work at the zoo brought him recognition worldwide, and he became known as the Crocodile Hunter. In addition to his work as the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin was also known for his adventurous spirit and love of adrenaline fueled activities. He once described himself as a wildlife warrior, and his daring expeditions certainly reflected that. One particularly exciting moment in Steve's career occurred when he caught a massive saltwater crocodile that had been terrorizing a local fishing village. The crocodile was over six meters long and weighed nearly a thousand kilos and it had reportedly attacked several boats and even killed a fisherman. Steve and his team spent several days tracking the crocodile through the swampy waters of the Northern Territory, setting up traps and using bait to lure it out of hiding. Finally, after several near misses and heart pounding encounters, Steve managed to snag the crocodile with a heavy duty rope and drag it onto the shore. The capture of this monster croc, as it became known, was a major triumph for Steve and his team. The animal was later relocated to a safer area, and Steve's bravery and determination in capturing it earned him even more respect and admiration from his fans. This thrilling adventure was just one of many in Steve's incredible life, and it serves as a testament to his passion for wildlife and his unwavering dedication to protecting the animals he loved. Steve's TV show, The Crocodile Hunter, was a massive hit and aired for over 10 years. He used the show as a platform to educate people about wildlife and conservation, as well as to share his love of animals. His energy, enthusiasm, and fearlessness in front of the camera made him a beloved icon worldwide. On September the 4th, 2006, Steve was filming for a new documentary, Ocean's Deadliest, off the coast of Port Douglas, a small Australian coastal town. He and his crew were on his 75-foot research boat, the Croc One, when they decided to film a quick segment for his daughter Bindi's upcoming TV show, Bindi the Jungle Girl. Steve and his cameraman, Justin Lyons, went to film a stingray in shallow waters. Stingrays are not generally aggressive and usually swim away or hide under the sand when they sense danger. Steve and Justin had no reason to believe that this particular stingray would pose a threat. As Steve approached the stingray, it suddenly turned and struck him in the chest with its stinger. The barb penetrated Steve's chest and pierced his heart, causing massive trauma. The entire incident was captured on film and the footage showed Steve pulling the barb from his chest before losing consciousness. Steve was rushed back to his boat where the crew attempted to revive him. However, it was too late. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, had died from his injuries. The world was in shock. Steve Irwin's passing was a massive loss for the world of wildlife conservation. His work had inspired millions of people around the globe, and his death left a significant void in the hearts of those who had loved him. Many questioned the safety of the wildlife industry and the use of animals for entertainment. Some criticized Steve for his risky behavior and blamed him for his own death. Others defended him, arguing that he had died doing what he loved and that the accident was a tragic but rare recurrence. In the end, Steve Irwin's legacy lives on. His work at the Australia Zoo continues to educate people about the importance of wildlife conservation, and his family continues to promote his message through their own shows and work. Steve's passion for wildlife and his fearless dedication to conservation remain an inspiration to people all over the world. So there you have it folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below and with this we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos. We hope to meet you guys again in the next one.